Hey guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Uh, today we'll do something a bit lighter, given that the last few episodes we've uh, <laughs> stretched ourselves really thin. Uh, so this episode we'll do Motel Woes, which is a very simple fetch job for a trailer which is utterly <laughs> not bogged down in five feet of mud. Um, and I think we'll have enough time while we're doing that to also maybe try and get a uh, stuck trailer, which is another trailer, which doesn't seem to be in too terrible of an area. I mean, it's not in the middle of the lake or something, so we'll give this a shot and see. Maybe we can uh, uh, get that solved quickly and cheaply because uh, I am gonna. Just try to hold back until level 6, until we get those tires, so we uh, have, at the very least, not horrible performance in mud. Uh, that said, I'm gonna, I can do this with um, with the GMC, uh, which is a highway truck, and I haven't been using it at all. But again, if we're going to be doing that uh, retrieval from the mud, for sure, this is not what I want to have available. So uh, again, we'll be using the Fleet Star for this. I know you guys uh, may are may have been uh, just getting uh, a tad tired of it, but it's what we have right now. I have looked through the um, truck store for like uh, off-road trucks, but. They all pretty much are either locked behind level or locked behind, uh, you know, regions. Um, and what we do have available to buy exactly at this point is about 83,000 credits or whatever units of money the game uses, which is uh, ridiculously expensive for what we have right now. We've been fighting like under $10,000, if that. So that's not an option right now. So. Mr. Fleetstar F2070A, or is that 0A, whatever, this is what we're using. Uh, given that we're going to be become the trailer, uh, again, we're going to be needing to go uh, relatively uh, low weight. Again, not sure if that matters very much, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, let's stop a tiny... Route planning here. Uh, what route are we taking? Mm. Yeah, I guess we just want to get there fast and not worry about things too much. So let's do. Yeah, for sure. Let's do this route. Most of it is uh, paved over. Something like this. I'm pretty sure I'll have to use this route in the forest. Um, it would be nice also if we could swing by and maybe get this Scout 800. It's in the general era where we're doing the things, but we'll just see how we run on time. Maybe we'll uh, make this a two-parter, just so I don't have to uh, uh, make another trip up there. It wouldn't be an episode of uh, Snow Runner if we didn't utterly start exactly stuck, like five meters outside the base. I swear, I'm not trying to make this uh, a thing for you guys, but uh, it, this is just how uh, our luck seems to go.
bit. We're getting uh, smarter and pulling ourselves out of trouble. This is with um, heightened suspension. We're still having trouble going over these rocks. If anything, uh, I think this should do more uh, damage to your suspension and stuff like that. Which we really haven't been seeing unless you literally smack your truck on a rock or something, like just falling. But uh, scrapes on the undercarriage should, I guess, definitely do uh, a fair bit more uh, damage. all-wheel dive, not that we'll actually have any fuel problems, given that we're going to be running uh, through town and we have like a fuel refinery right there, a fuel, fuel depot, I guess. This is clear, well, not clear because it's raining, but it's still tarmac. And it's interesting how the quests in the game, well, tasks, whatever, more or less are based around that no one around here had any trucks or any will to use those trucks because there's a gazillion traders around and it's a good thing that you came around <laughs> with your big truck and your willingness to use it otherwise nothing will get done around here I should actually follow those detours. Maybe it's smarter. And, well, that was damage. But not enough for us to actually care about at this point. Just do a drive by refueling. We don't stop for anyone. Also, does the back look bent to anyone? Is that part of the damage we just took? <laughs> That'd be interesting. Uh, looking where you should be driving, right? I'm gonna try and get myself a YouTube, YouTube cover uh, picture. Okay, so this is where I should be returning that uh, drowned, whatever, trailer. But the intact trailer, which we're just take, taking, taking from a uh, trailer park, will be returned all the way back to the um, motel. I think we passed by it. Huh. And this is one of the trailers we left behind when we clear up the rock slide here. It's still filled with uh, construction materials, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, bricks.
Ouch. Come on. Just 15% uh, more curve. So we don't uh, end up at the destination without the truck. There, but maybe I'll save that for the return trip because this looks rather annoying to go through with the trailer, but we'll see. How's this train? Relatively muddy, but it's okay if you go on the skirts here. You know, I don't think I was exactly imagining that this would be like uh, on a paved surface or anything, but I thought it would be uh, just uh, easier. Give you guys some uh, more straightforward content and not uh, me winching on trees for half an hour, but we'll see. Let's try and manage this as best as we can. It's pretty thick here. But, uh, thankfully, it's uh, still something I can uh, drive on. Okay, then, so we're here at whatever ranch it is, and ooh, that's a big load. Slightly bigger than I imagined it would be, to be honest, that's what she said. Oh, easy there, blobby trailer. Um, right, so we had we have the option of trying maybe to go through here. Uh, that's gonna be a mistake, a terrible, terrible mistake. We'll see. Let's uh, scout it out a bit. But no, I'm skeptical. Switch to low gear here. Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> I guess not. Okay, let's uh, stick to the skirts as much as possible. We really cannot afford to get bogged down in here. Not with this load. are behaving relatively well. We're not seeing any terrible skidding, nor drowning in themselves in mud. Uh, I wonder if I can cheese it through here. That should be possible. trail doesn't get stuck, that would be absolutely fantastic, but I'm uncertain. There we go. That saved us a bit of uh, mud futzing around. Okay, so by this point I think it should be a relatively straight shot. I think uh, we should we can also turn on all-wheel drive by this point. I 
Again, not like we have any issues with uh, fuel per se, but... And the camera really doesn't know what to do with uh, this big load here. Oops. Ow. Let's take it back slowly. Can I? No. I don't think I have it. There we go. speed because the trailer adds a lot of inertia exactly what I was saying should have definitely helped here when we are uh, literally skidding our uh, wheels around and having actual traction problems but apparently it doesn't I'm not sure what's that chain icon there I saw it on, on the map as well file with a little chain inside. Okay then, this is the motel. Job well done. E e e nope 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 <laughs> Phew They've been uh pretty annoying to have that wobble and fall at this point. Well we gave them a fighting chance, let's hope they can get up and running sometime soon. So what the motel was out of business because they didn't have enough maintenance supplies? Okay, right, sure. Rewards, uh, we get 210 XP, which is what we care about, uh, which still takes us about 270 off. Anyways, uh, options, options, options. Uh, should we go and check out that scout truck? Because it's a bit late in the episode, I guess, to start and get that stock trailer out. So yeah, let's just head for the Scout 800 and get this um, done. Do you have any good options? Yeah, just go back through town. Um, yeah, let's just go through here. This shouldn't be too terrible. Here. Uh, yeah, okay, here here and I guess I can handle it from that point onwards we should have uh, actually done this with a scout but maybe I'll pause it here and next episode we'll do that round truck I mean, 
do let's just see if we can uh, manage it uh, I think it would be smart though to refuel because I won't really have much chance after that point and the refueling station is right here anyway This is definitely entirely unrealistic. I need my uh, enter the fuel station, put it in, start fueling, go inside, grab a coffee and a bagel, sit around and then leave like 15 minutes later. They added some ambient sounds here, so you don't just... I mean, it's fine when there's no sound when you're out in the wilderness, right? But it becomes really creepy if uh, you're um, basically, you know, like the middle of town and you see nothing. So, oh, in, the, in town here we have like a few dogs and some birds. Uh, I think a bell chiming? I think it was the church bell. I'm actually doing this on, on literally the max uh, high speed. Just because I keep down, keep the throttle down. So if I were to actually take my foot off the throttle, see, it would drop down to one out of five. Uh, actually, let's switch to low range differential lock and see if we can. Slowly maneuver ourselves out of this. There we go. Let's head on to a bit harder ground on the right here. Switch back to auto. Now let's have a look. Uh, the road we need to go is that one. Let's get some speed, let's burst this through and try and get as close as we can to those trees because I have a very big feeling we're going to be needing them to use them. Oh, oh, this was utterly completely surprising. And I jinxed it. <laughs> And that should be enough. Yeah, there we go. You know, I'm getting a hang of this. I think um, if you're sitting on auto is good until you actually get stuck because I think how much of a hole you make under you is dictated by dictated by how. Um, fast your wheels are moving, so uh, if you manage to switch to low just before that, you, you know, end up with less, you just more or less, uh, it's not really realistic, but I guess it, you increase the tolerance of the ground under you. Well, not, not tolerance, but 
we just put less pressure on the ground, that makes any sense? Okay, show task. Uh, oh, we don't care about this, do we? No, we don't. This is the, the thing to bring um, stuff from various locations. Which we'll be doing at one point in the future. Not really my highest priority. Anything. I think I'd rather want to start on those um, contracts for the, you know, big firms and uh, do the drilling parts and stuff. I think it's safe to switch back to auto. the point when we'll actually need to get like trailers up these kinds of paths although to be fair I don't think this truck should be on this path oh I should... this is really probably not what the manufacturer of this truck intended for it to do It got us where we needed to go. Uh, and let's hope that scout is actually something that I can use. If I'm not mistaken, I think the scout is one of the uh, early scout cars you get in uh, your, your titles. So this should be uh, an available truck for us to get for free. Yeah, new, new truck discovered. Uh, available for purchase. You say purchase, but I don't believe you. Uh, can I go V? Uh, change truck. Scout 800. Yep, there we go. And let's go V. Let's go... Well, we don't really have to recover it right now, do we? Uh, can we use it quickly for something? Yeah, I don't think so. Uh, we'll just uh, throw her into the um, garage. Let's go a bit through customization, see if we have anything for it, but I don't think so. Oh, actually, we... yeah, the snow runner is unlocked for the entire class. Huh, interesting. Suspensions are individual, right? Okay, well, an extra truck is an extra truck, and actually we can, I think we can sell it, right? If we really need to. I think so. Let's uh, put this one into storage. No, it's retained, right? Yeah. So we have truck storage, and we have the scout. Yeah, we can totally sell this if we really want to, to get some cash. That might be nice, to be honest. I'm not, I already put enough time in the Chevrolet. I uh, don't want to upgrade this at this point either two as well uh, so part weight is a c plus but i can't really compare right 
because the other one is upgraded. You know what? Let's just sell it. I, I can need cash anyway. And I can rebuy it if I really need to. And while we're here, I think we should uh, sell... Oh wow, if we sell the pre-order truck, we get a shit ton of money. But again, we said we, said we didn't want to go down that route of abusing these. So actually, let's sell the Kodiak. It'll be a long time until I actually get some decent uh, upgrades for it because I think most of its stuff is in Alaska and we're not going to go to Alaska just yet. So let's sell the Kodiak as well. And that actually gets us up to 55,000, which... Uh, huh, actually, if we really want, can we get another truck? Can we get an off-road truck? Uh, this is 83,000. This is explore the world, explore the world, and rank 2017. Yeah, I'm skeptical. Okay, doesn't matter. Um, let's let's just call it uh, here for the moment. Uh, we are going to be continuing this in the next episode. Uh, where's my car? There we go. We're going to be continuing this in the next episode, uh, and we're going to be picking up the uh, the drowned trailer. Whoa, sorry, drowned heavy truck. No, not drowned heavy truck. Not yet. Anyways, uh, stuck trailer. Yeah, this is what we're going to be going to doing. We're going to See if we can get this uh, curtain side trailer off of here. In any way, shape or form, uh, if you like this video, please do share a like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff. And this was Cosmo. I'll see you in the next one.